But speaking of the acolyte, we have to we have to update everybody on this because as Disney themselves said on StarWars.com, the Acolyte trailer's breaking records. It's just so incredible, so <laughs> stunning, it's so brave. It's breaking records. More people in the first 24 hours watched it than any other Disney Plus series, according to these very specific metrics. Unfortunately, that's not the record that people are really concerned with. The record that people are really looking at is that this is the first Star Wars trailer in history to have more dislikes than likes. And it's just, it's not just by a little bit, not just edging out on the dislikes. No, we have passed half a million dislikes on something that's been watched 9 million times. 177,000 upvotes to half a million plus downvotes. It is an evisceration. And of course, you've got people doing everything they can to defend it. DEI yeah. is not why Star Wars is getting worse. Star Wars fans complaining about Leslie Headland's upcoming Disney Plus series, The Acolyte, are mad about the franchise for the wrong reasons. And every time we hear something from a cast member or the showrunner or whatever, it, it, the backlash continues to get worse. I'm shocked at how much this, uh, this number is. I thought it was going to be heavily disliked. I thought it was going to be a toss-up whether it got ratioed or not. This is like the Marvel's level of hatred from people. Oh, it's bad. And if that's any clue, uh, we saw what happened with the Marvels in terms of interest level. If that holds true with this, it's going to be an unmitigated disaster. They're not helping their case when you have headlines like this. Uh, we explain why we have writers that have never seen Star... Writers in freaking Hollywood that has never seen a star wars film that's who you want putting this show together really and and she went on the you know she went on the defensive and they're like oh we just want a perspective the writer that they hired in this article which was uh i think it was put out on uh variety actually and, and cbr just took like clips of it in this article they said that the writer that has never seen star wars she goes i've heard of it i think there's a dog in there and, and she was talking about Chewbacca, I believe, like space yeah. balls, like barf, right? And that's who they want working on these Star Wars shows. So you wonder why, <laughs> you can't help but wonder why nobody cares about this stuff. Also on top of it, this is the High Republic series. The High Republic uh, is not like the best seller. People just don't Nobody knows what it. it is, right? The Like a, a handful of people were, you know, wondering what it was going to be like. It comes out. The first book sells okay. But from then on, everyone abandoned it. For the Here, Can I show no, you? Normal Star Wars fans don't know what the High Republic is. Like, they have no fucking idea. When it popped up in Fallen Order, most people had no idea what the fuck it was. And now you have this. Yeah, so there's Geode, which is a co-pilot. But here are the, uh, here's like the sales numbers. Like you said, the first one did, according to these numbers that are available that you could find, let's just go by here. These are, these are a uh, soft cover, hard cover. So it's like uh, 120,000 for the first one. And they just keep plummeting. They just get worse and worse. And where this book only sold 7,000, this one five, this book only sold 3,600. 3, Right. Now, and to, then they, and to, to, to be clear, that's not exactly like an apples to apples comparison. One of them, like those ones, I believe, are like children's books or like I, exactly. Like but youth, I'm saying it's a books. Star yeah, Wars yeah. book. It's a Star right, Wars right. book. So if you want to compare like the first book. Right. So one hundred and twenty thousand up here and then you go into phase two. Right. The next one in the series, it drops to twenty thousand. So if you were to compare those two, those are the two that you would compare because it's the same style, the same as it's yeah, not yeah. the uh, children's book. It's not the reference book. It's not the comic book or anything. So that's a big drop. In this article here, it talks about that the High Republic series dropped a whopping 90 percent of, of interest from the first. Here it is. This is a 90, 95 percent drop in sales between the launch of Light of the Jedi and the current High Republic novel. Uh, novels in barely over two years this article also shows like some of the uh the writers like at comic cons this was like a, a year ago i believe and how they were saying like not one person came up for an <laughs> for a signed book over at the dragon con book convention they just kind of sat there watching everybody else get their book signed and the high republic was also a series where lucasfilm and please correct me if i'm wrong where lucasfilm felt like that's where they're going to push a lot of their non-binary jedis and gay jedis and trans jedis and all that so you remember the uh non-binary jedis that they pushed the twins oh, yeah. the twins um, i remember them they pushed all that nonsense into that they promoted characters like here's a pilot he's an asexual pilot of the vessel it's like they just 
just constantly promoted that. You, we, we wanted to know their pronouns, wanted to know what type of sexuality they were, and they shoved it all in the High Republic. Now we have the Acolyte, which is a High Republic series, which takes place a hundred years before Phantom Menace, which for most people are like, that's really stupid because, you know, Darth Maul, at last we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. And the Sith are supposed to be in hiding, whatever. I guess Yoda will maybe he's alive walking around doing his thing so maybe yoda will make an appearance i'm sure maybe we'll get a, a young chewbacca sighting i don't know yeah i mean, I mean to put that in put, put that in perspective the thrawn trilogy the original thrawn trilogy from the 90s you're talking about 15 million copies somewhere around yeah. that sold so to put that in perspective the high republic this massive and there was more marketing behind high republic than any fucking book release we've ever seen and uh, you had to get, what, 150,000 combined copies for the first book? Yes. A little rough.